Hey everyone! So we are going to do a boiler maker um, with black. I did one on Monday Night Live with black and it came out absolutely beautiful. So I thought today I'm just going to try a little bit of the Premier Purple Red, some Craft Smart Gold, some Blick Deep Violet. I have just a tiny bit left. I want to use it up. And Golden Interference Violet just to see what what we'll get with that black. So I'm going to go ahead and add the black to the cup. We have to add enough so the shot glass sinks. And I want to make sure I have enough paint to cover that canvas. Um, sometimes you'll have too much paint um, running it off the sides. Um, it's just what you have to do to do the boiler maker. All right, so let's work on our shot glass. I'm going to do them right in the order that I have them. So we'll do the purple red, some gold, and the blick. I'm really hoping I can get something out of this. I think I might put a tiny bit of blue here. So let's use the Artist Loft um, iridescent mixed with the Grumbacher Prussian Blue. I just need a little contrast. Oh, I'm going to get that in order there. And we'll try the golden interference. And we'll go back with another layer. So you definitely want to fill your shot glass with color. Let's see if I can get enough out of here. <laughs> I think that's going to be the end of that one. And I'll just put some more of this purple red on top. Okay, move them out of the way because we're going to get messy. Okay, so we're just going to drop it. And it did sink. Got some peak peeking up there, but that's okay. So we're just gonna do like a flip cup. Give it a minute to release. I don't spray the cup for this. Just want to make sure that that black sticks to the canvas. And I am gonna let a little bit out. swipe the top of that shot glass off and let it drain down a little bit because it's slippery and sometimes if you use a cup that's too wide it will tip over. So now I just want to release that color. Let me wipe off my hand here. Okay. So let's give it a quick torch and see if we have any color underneath this black that wants to come up. It's still pretty thick, so we want to move it around for sure. So just let your black run over the sides. Looks like all my color just stayed right in that spot, didn't it? Okay, I'm going to stretch it out anyway. I'll take it over the edge. Alright, so here's where I want to be just a little careful. So I want to torch it again and see if there's anything under this black here. Because you really don't want to be stuck with one pile of color. There is some. 
there's none over here. Just a little bit. So now I know that I can go ahead and stretch this this way. That's going to be very bright and pretty when that dries. Very cosmic, if I would put it this way. It's pretty cool. Let's try another view this way. So yeah, that's really neat. I like that. So if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and click below. Click on that bell and you'll be notified when I upload my next video. Click like and share and leave a comment. Uh, join us on Facebook. We have our Parage Posse group and also the Christina Welch art page. And shop with us on Amazon for all your paint pouring supplies. The link is below for that. Uh, we do sell our paintings on Etsy and um, we run sales quite often but you can find that link below as well. Um, if you're looking for resin we carry the stone coat art coat code uh, to get $10 off a $95 order and that is below. Prints are available on Redbubble. Our fan mailbox address is there if you want to send us a gadget to play with. We are always game for a new gadget. And also, um, if you're interested in our Parage Posse t-shirts and hoodies and such, all that is below as well. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all on the next one. Bye now.